Welcome to another training session. In today's session, we are going to see how we can read the analog input values coming from the sensors and how we can scale these analog raw values to the engineering units. So first of all, we will create a new project. And next, we are going to insert a PLC here. And next, we will insert a new object, S7300 station. Open its hardware configuration. Go to the S7300 and expand the Rack 300. We will insert a rail here. And next we will go to the CPU 300. And from here we can select 314 2DP. We will select it and drag and drop here. Click here. And as you can see that it has five analog inputs and two analog outputs and addresses are mentioned here. We can double click here and go to the addresses. The starting address will be 752. We can uncheck this system default address and we can write here 256. We will change the input address. And from the inputs, you can see that we have channel 0, 1, 2, 3 and up to 4. First channel is configured as voltage 0 to 10 volt plus minus. And let's suppose we have a level sensor and its output is current. So we can select the current I and a range we can set 0 to 20 or 4 to 20. We can set it 4 to 20 milliamps. Now our channel 0 is configured as current input 4 to 20 milliamps and we will be reading this channel 0 and its address will be available at PIW256. We'll just click here, save and compile. Now we will go back to the Somatic 300, open the CPU as 7 program, blocks, OP1. Okay, we will change the language to the letter. And here, as you can see, we have pre-built libraries. We'll expand this and uh, we'll go to the standard library. And here we will go to the TAS7 converting blocks. And from here, we can select this FC105 scale drag and drop this here and as you can see that it has four inputs and two outputs so the first one will be our input address we can write here paw256 which is our channel zero and even we can edit the symbol as channel zero analog input how we are scaling this raw value this is coming at channel 0 we have to scale this one to some engineering values so let's suppose at 4 milliamps it is 0 so we will insert 0, 0.0 here and at 20 milliamps output it will be 100%. So we can write here 100.0. And if we want to convert this raw value to plus minus range, we can turn on this bipolar bit. But for today, we will keep it off as it is. We can write here like M10.0. And this will be our always off bit. We can set the data type as Boolean always off. Next, if there is any error in this block, it should return the value here. We can write a memory word 400. So in the memory word 400, whatever the error comes, it will return the error number. In this memory word 400, we can edit symbol as error board.
now the scale value will be at output so we can insert here md 500 and we can edit symbol as scaled value and data type will be real or we can put d word also here next we will save the block and before starting the simulation as we don't have any physical plc right now we have to use some dummy address here so we can write here nw300 and we can simulate this as sensor input value so we can write here dummy channel zero and it's value will be int next we will save the ob1 go back start the simulation of the plc select here mpi and download complete project into the plc simulator okay so here will be maybe what 300 and our scale value will be at okay now at zero you can see here the output is zero okay let's increase it to 1000 and you can see that it is showing 3.6 okay so here also we can change the display value into the real which is 3.618 let's now increase it to the maximum which is 27648 and as you can see here at at 20 milliampere the raw value will be 27648 and it is showing 100 100 percent value here and the half of the 27648 is 13824 and at the 12 milliamps you can see that it's showing 50 percent scaled value so that's how we can connect and configure the plc to read the analog raw values and convert into some engineering values